Hello and welcome to NAB 2017. We're here with Jeff Fiorino from Diplex. Diplex distributes Phonak in North America. Um, hi. Hello. So you guys have a new product that you're showing, Phonak product. Yes, so last year we launched the Roger Studio earpiece, as you know. Basically twice the fidelity of the Invisity earpiece, our original RF receiver that received audio from 158 to 220 megahertz. Uh, the Roger earpiece is based on the medical side of Phonak, which came out with the new Roger chipset, which is a 2.4 base system. Uh, basically, twice the fidelity, um, very easy to sync, no more frequency coordination at all in reprogramming earpieces. Uh, and now, exciting this year is that we've come uh, to the show with a repeater that is due out in July. Uh, the biggest limitation from what we've heard from our customers has definitely been the limitation on the distance, which has been about 20 to 50 meters clear line of sight for a direct from transmitter, either base station or wireless touchscreen mic, directly to the earpiece at around that 40 meters range, right. where this repeater now will extend uh, the range 50 meters about per repeater, and you can have unlimited repeaters. So how would it work uh, in practice? So basically, uh, as some of our Roger customers already know, you bring the earpiece close to the transmitter, you press a button to sync it, you're now on a Roger network. Each Roger network has its own unique ID, so you can have multiple transmitters in the same vicinity of each other. Uh, there's going to be no interruption of the talk, uh, so you can have different line in, different um, audio feeds in the same vicinity, but with you know different earpieces or different talents. What you're basically doing with the repeater is the exact same thing. You bring it close to the base station, you press uh, sync, and now you're onto that Roger network. You do that with multiple repeaters to extend that length. And you would need multiple repeaters per channel? Per, uh, not necessarily per channel, um, per transmitter, yes. So uh -huh. yes, I guess per channel, okay. yeah, yeah, per Transmit. transmitter, per Roger network. Uh, but you can have unlimited uh, repeaters in each network. So you're basically extending by about 50 meters per repeater that you've put into that Roger network. And does it behave like a, a zones at that point? It, it does. I mean, um, you're basically extending it, um, again, just, just by about 50 meters. It is pretty directional, uh -huh. so it is going to maybe sort of play around with the direction of it. So just meaning that, you know, it can't be going backwards, you should be on a wall, uh -huh. something like that. So like um, to bounce around a corner or something? Yes, like exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. I mean, it's going to obviously take some playing around with in each particular location that you're trying to use it, uh -huh. in my opinion. Um, you know, obviously if there's a steel door, you may have to sort of go up and around it, use multiple repeaters, but the exciting news is that it definitely is extending the distance and, and we are getting distances that you may need in a full location that you're doing as far as a studio as well. Um, and so from the Rogers perspective, um, it doesn't know whether it's getting a signal from the base station or the repeater. That's correct, yeah. So basically if the signal is there and the earpiece is already set up in that network, you're you know, creating this wireless cloud essentially that the earpiece is getting from each individual repeater, whichever repeater is closest to the earpiece. Um, and sorry to interrupt, but do the repeaters have contention? Do I have to worry about isolation? Yeah, there is about two two milliseconds of latency per repeater. Uh -huh. So from trans broader transmitter to earpiece is about fourteen milliseconds, and then you add two milliseconds per repeater. So ultimately, you're definitely still under a second. Uh, I would say of latency. So best practice would be to to sort of figure out where the edges of reception are for each zone. Yeah, and exactly, and then also as far as, you know, if you are into a completely different room, then the latency really of one second or under one second really wouldn't be too much of an issue because you can't visually see the audio source anyway. Got it. Uh, another exciting product that we're now just, it's been out for a while, but uh, sort of bringing a little bit more attention to is a Roger Wall Pilot. Uh -huh. So basically what it allows you to do is it reprograms the earpiece when you walk by the Wall Pilot to a different audio source. So if you have room A, have one audio source and one Roger network, the talent can then walk through with their earpiece through the door, past the wall pilot within two meters, and it changes and syncs to that new Roger network without the talent having any notification other than now hearing that new audio source. So it's a similar idea to the repeater, 
but uh, you would need additional base stations. Exactly. You're basically changing the frequency and the audio source. So it's not necessarily extending the range. It's actually changing the frequency or the, the, the audio source with a different transmitter in that different room. And so one advantage I can see is that the latency is consistent. Yes, it would then be, yeah, exactly, that 14 milliseconds of latency uh, that would just be from transmitter to earpiece or within that network. But it's, it, it's most importantly changing the, the frequency or the ID network that you're on. So now you're using a different transmitter. So if there's an audio source in room B that once you get into room B you want to hear or have broadcast to the earpiece, this automatically switches it over. So there's no frequency coordination with the talent at all. The talent doesn't need to know about it. And the sound, the sound guy also doesn't need to know about it either. It's just automatically doing that. And theoretically, there's no limit between any combination of, of wall pilot and repeater. No, exactly. It's it's one wall pilot per transmitter with an unlimited repeaters per transmitter. Got it. And um, availability and price of this stuff. The uh, SOP of the repeater is going to be roughly half the earpiece cost, so around 800 US. Uh, the wall pilot, uh, I believe, is about the same. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know that for sure. Uh, but the repeater is going to be out come July uh, 2017. Yeah. Terrific. Thank you very much. Thank you.